This thing is oh, it's not very good. It's just not very good. This didn't work very well. Oh M G. Look at that. And I love how it's like you can just see like a little bit of the red and then it's like bang, super red. So good. What is up guys, welcome to the studio. I'm John the Potter, great to have you. So I we have an exciting video for you guys today. I'm gonna talk about this giant textile wall that we have been working on the last few months. Big shout out to my intern this summer, Kai Brisk is his name. You can go check him out on Instagram, Kai Brisk Pottery. He's a great up and coming potter. He's in school right now to get his major in ceramics and he's thinking about going to get his MFA after. So he's been a super big help in this studio this summer. But he basically had this idea like, you know, we should test a bunch of glazes. We have so many Mako glazes in this studio. Like, let's test them. So because of the size of the wall, uh, and how like you can see from top all the way down basically to as low as we could go see right down to there 26 different glazes so we have 26 combos from there to there and then 26 from there to there and I'll put the list up on the screen so you can see which glazes so we have every single different combination of those 26 glazes right you know number one is up here right I mean they have this all on a spreadsheet as well but basically sandstone over sandstone is right there. And then the next one is winter wood over sandstone. And then the next one is midnight rain over sandstone. And so basically Aurora green is all this row, right? So all of a sudden if I say, hey, like I wanna figure out what Aurora green over black matte, which is a cool one, so then I look at this Aurora Green all the way down to Black Matte. And I grab this guy right here. And then I know that that is about what it's gonna look like, right? So each test tile was numbered. Basically, we don't need the numbers anymore because you can tell from the chart where, you know, if I wanna look at what red gloss over any other glaze looks like, I just go there. Uh, the chart was mostly, or the numbers on there are mostly for how we made sure we knew which glazes were which when we fired them. We are, we have a completely full kiln of a lot of glazes that we found through this, right? So that was the whole point of this. Well, there's a couple points to this whole test tile wall, right? Number one is for myself to find new glaze combinations to try because I love doing that. You know, I make a ton of mugs and each individual mug I look at as like a little canvas, right? Like, so finding new ways to paint those canvases and to get combinations that are really stunning is important to me. So that's number one. Number two is I want people to be able to look at this wall and pick out what they want. So like we're doing this event at the studio in August, August 14th and 15th, you were invited to come if you would like, where we're gonna have pieces that are not finished yet, right? We're gonna have bisque pieces that people can purchase and then you can choose which glaze you want. So you can stand here and look and say like, I really like, you know, this is a cool one right here. I, this is actually one that I do all the time anyway. So I like this glaze. I want this combo on this mug. And then we'll be able to either you can glaze it or I can glaze it and show you and then we can pack it up and ship it to you. So that's a really exciting thing that I'm excited for is doing that for the event. So the wall is broken up into categories like from here up are all their crystal glazes, right? Like sandstone, winter wood, midnight rain, or green. They all have crystals in them, which I really like those. And then from here to here are just kind of some of their normal glazes, like lavender mist, Norse blue, ones that don't have crystals in them. And then the bottom like six are their gloss glazes, right? So they have these gloss glazes that are like black gloss, red gloss, bright blue gloss. And I like the colors because they're really bright and vibrant but I've never really found combinations that I love with them because they don't drip at all. Like you layer different combinations on and they just like stay. So it's always like this hard line. Like for example, this is Aurora green over red gloss and this is white gloss. And so they're, you can see they're just like, they're not, they don't drip. They don't have like a lot of texture or depth to it. Um, it just like creates that line. So I haven't, used them a ton, even though I think there was a lot of potential. And that's probably the biggest thing that came out of this was finding combos that work really well with the gloss glazes. So for example, Roar Green over Bright Green Gloss, and then this is 
Aurora Green over red gloss. And so I really liked the Aurora Green over top of the gloss glazes. I mean, there's like so many cool ones, it's really hard to pick them out. This is Satin Patina over red gloss. Another big finding was a couple glazes that I haven't really used before that I really liked, like the Lava Rock. We got some really cool combos, especially the gloss glazes over the Lava Rock. So like these four, are white gloss over lava rock, green gloss over lava rock, blue gloss over lava rock, and red gloss. And so those turn out really cool, which we have a bunch of these combinations on mugs in the kiln. Like some of these in here are really cool. Those are the bright glosses over uh, copper ore. I mean, raspberry mist I've been using a ton. Like there's a ton of cool ones in there. Um, Norse blue obviously is really a cool one that I use a lot. I think Shipwreck was another one. Here's Shipwreck right here. So like this is Sandstone over Shipwreck. Really, a lot of these is Sea Salt and Indigo Rain over Shipwreck. This one's really cool. Anyway, let's uh, open this kiln and see if we got some good results from what we've been doing. So on the top, we just have some Insanity mugs. Look at these vases. Oh, marbled vases. Love those. So these are not new combos, but they are cool pieces that we'll have for sale at our event in August. That's kind of what we're prepping for now is just the event in August. Our next restock is August 18th. Woo, yes. Those are have been one of the most popular combos recently. Can't keep up with making those. All right, where am I gonna put all these pots? Got a bunch of these in there. I mean, there's not, actually there are quite a few in here. Raspberry Mist, Winterwood, Norse Blue combo the best and then these insanity ones we fire these upside down it's kind of my own unique thing that i do turned out really good that transition between there is super cool okay. two more two more insanity mugs all right and then we get to the new combos wow okay so this is the bright red gloss over lava rock and I don't know how well you can see the detail in there, but it is really cool. Like, so good. And then the inside is just bright red, which I like. Those gloss glazes I never really loved. They just, I don't know, there's something about them that isn't quite, I don't know what it is. It's just by itself, it's a little weird, but when it's the inside, it's cool. Cause like, you don't want like this super bright red. Like that's really, really good. Really good, fun. And then the other one, oh, I love it, is Lava Rock. So this is bright blue gloss over Lava Rock. So again, got the plain blue gloss on the inside with fat on the outside. Really good. So you can be super aggressive with these glazes when you're layering them because they don't drip at all. So literally it was Lava Rock and then bright blue gloss on the whole thing, where normally I have to do like half and half because it'll drip. Like for example, you know, that just dripped right off. All those turned out really nice. I mean, it did drip a little bit, but not a lot. So, love it. Bright red. So we had like four of each of those. Uh, we also have the white gloss over the lava rock, which is probably the one I'm most excited about. All right, there are two mugs in this shelf that have are dripped off the mug probably more than I've ever seen. Literally, it's just like a pool of glaze on the on the shelf. I'll, sh I'll unload those last. And I'm pretty, oh my gosh. Like what the heck did I do there? I don't even remember. That is just, whoo. All right, so another combo that I was really digging the Aurora Green over bright red gloss. So red on the inside, super cool. And these are quite textured. Wow, yes, so exciting. So exciting. So I did a bunch like that. Wow, that's really cool. Wow. And I love how it's like, you can just see like a little bit of the red and then it's like, bang, super red. So good. So good. Ooh, this one dripped a little bit. These ones always seem to drip a little more. So this one is a, a carved one. Holy cow, cow, dang it. Ups and downs, ups and downs of unloading the kiln. This one just took a big chunk right out of the bottom. So that's unsellable, really nice. I use a wood rib to make this ridge all the way up. 
is then the glaze falls and pools and then falls and pools. And so you get that really big variation in color, which I think is cool. Beauty, these ones sold super well in the last restock. This like wavy spiral with this combo. I love it. Boom, boom, red. Those are really, really fun. Excited about those. That's cool. Beauty. There's the Lavender Mist combo. More of these ones with Norse Blue. Very, very nice. Very good. Here, I'll show you what, what a giant pool of glaze looks like. There it is. Jeez. Oh yes. Okay. So this is lava rock over bright blue gloss. So you get these little, like you can't really see the blue very much even though the blue was layered down to here. So you just see the blue around the top a little bit. What do you think of that? It's kind of interesting. Kind of different. I have the sense that this won't really sell very well. O-M-G, look at that. I have the sense that this will sell really, really well. That is dope. So, oh my gosh, I'm in love with it. I'm in love. That's so cool. And I have a sense but that will sell really well because I think the black and white and then white on the inside. Wow. That, I love it. There's like six of those in there. All right. Which that's a fantastic, fantastic glaze. And then I have one more little tester thing that I'm trying out. The black, that did not really work very well. So there's this glaze that they have called black mud crack and it's supposed to like be uh, it kind of like, it's just, it's just not very good. It's just not very good. It just didn't work very well. I don't know. I gotta, I gotta try a little something different. I mean, that kind of worked a little better. That's kind of how it's supposed to work, but. Oh, then there's this one too. This is really interesting. Pink-ish on the outside, bluish on the inside. Not my favorite, but I think someone will dig it. Another one of these like gold lava rock ones. Here's more of those white ones. Wow. So good. Fun. Fun, fun. I'm gonna count the pots. We'll put, we'll put them in the, uh, the thing. Otherwise, that's all I got for you. Let me know, comment below if you have any questions on like what any glazes you guys wanna see, like what combos you think would be really interesting. I think I might try and put together like a PDF or some sort of way that if you guys wanna know exactly what glaze over what looks like, then you could go do it. And then I could sell it online. Like if I have pots that you're like, you could custom order a mug in a certain glaze. Anyway, that might be down the road a little bit. But for now, I'm just excited to keep experimenting, trying new stuff. It's fun because the test tile is the first step and then this is the second step where you like try some mugs in, you know, like, you know, you try it out on a full piece and then you make sure that it works and it doesn't like drip off and whatever. So, all right, that's all. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. Share, like, subscribe, all that stuff. And we'll see you guys in the next video. What are you doing? Um, uh, older. No, you don't need to hold. Dad, older. <laughs> okay, should we go outside? No, Let's go. Here, take my hand. Whoa. Whoa.